Hi everyone and welcome to Film Dirt. I powered through all eight parts of Netflix's The Diplomat, starring Kerry Russell and Rufus Sewell. I found the main positive for this show was that there's some quite interesting characters. Usually this genre doesn't really hold much interest for me. It's not my go-to type of series that I would get invested in. As in the past, I've found a lot of them quite stuffy, I think, and a bit too convoluted. But I did enjoy shows like Homeland, and uh, before that there was a UK show called Spooks, which was absolutely superb. I believe in the US it was renamed MI5. Uh, The term Spooks is a UK slang for secret agent or some kind of agent that lies low unnoticed and then executes their objective so with the diplomat it's almost uh, a little look behind the scenes of of all this uh, political uh, spy game difficulties i guess and with that comes a lot of uh, distractions like you know what you're going to wear to events and how you're going to look to the press and it all seems really unimportant and a huge distraction in so many directions because really what you're supposed to maintain is the security of the uh, government and the country and all sorts of other factors like how certain people look in the press and you can't have any sort of bad news you know concerning certain politicians it would undermine the whole government wouldn't it so there's a lot of things getting in the way almost of the primary objective so we've got here Kerry Russell's character, Kate, who always seems dishevelled to me. And it just shows, you know, that she's not really cut out in some ways, but maybe grew into the job and was actually pretty good, I felt. And in taking a little look at uh, this world behind the scenes, obviously what comes with it is various affairs and, you know, not being too PC in private, you know, you've got to hit certain marks when you're in the public eye, you've got to, you know, recruit all nationalities and show that this government is diverse and open-minded. And, you know, there may not be so much of that behind the scenes. And I like a little looks at the the Prime Minister where he's, he's wanting to go gung-ho and he's really taking out his frustrations towards certain nationalities and he seems quite hot-headed and I quite like that kind of reminds us of how maybe I would say Boris Johnson would act in private and that quite amuses me because I do find characters like that quite funny I'm not offended at all I just find it funny because I really don't like politics I have to be honest it's not really for me I don't like politics and religion that's two of the main things really rubbed me up the wrong way because I I think it's just a lot of hot air most of it even if any controversy here is on the light side a lot of this subject matter I actually found quite fascinating it started well you know there's uh, maybe two three episodes in you you knew certain characters and what they brought to the table was their difficulties in trying to establish themselves and the whole point of what their job was. We can understand there are difficulties in government and being diplomatic is you know, getting on with people. And that can be difficult because you're still dealing with people. People have their opinions, people favour certain people over others. And I like what this show covered. It got a little bit lean and a little bit off topic towards the middle. There was a few, you know, stories of affairs going on, which I I think may be a distraction too far, even for the viewer. And it wasn't really that convincing to me, especially the swimming in the lake out in the country. Of course it would happen, but the, the story thread that led to it, I think, was a little bit too far. But generally, I think you need to mention certain things like affairs and difficulties with people and all that stuff, because it does exist. And all the background distractions with other staff being seen in shot and all of the uh, 
the hectic nature of what this job is, I think it was all really convincing. I mean, if you look at it, it just looks real. There were certain parts back out in the country, in the in the middle portions of the series, where it did look like a little bit of a TV set and not really convincing. But when they returned to London and there was portions in France, Paris as well, it did look really good and I was engaged. And of course it had to end with a cliffhanger. And at the time of recording this, I did have a little look online that there has been serious rumours of a series two, which I'm glad with because it will hopefully shed some light on this cliffhanger and quite looking forward to it to be honest. So it won over me. And for a score, let's give it four stars. I think really positive. I think Netflix have uh, hit it out of the park, really. And like I said, looking forward to series two. Kerry Russell's great and all the other characters. Rufus Sewell, great American accent. I loved his role and he did come across as the, you know, the house husband, I guess, or the wife as they, as they called it. Fantastic. So looking forward to seeing most of these characters in series two. Thanks a lot for joining me for this review. Did you enjoy this like I did? You can always let me know in the comments below. And of course you can always like and subscribe as well because you all want to hear from me again, I'm sure. Thanks again. It was great speaking to you. See you again for another review. All the best and take care.